What's up collectors, I'm finally doing a new video and today it is the Paldea Evolved Pokemon Center ETB and trust me, there are some awesome pulls in this box and I literally speak a card into existence. I hope you enjoy. Finally back after some time, we've got the ETB and again it is the Pokemon Center ETB so there should be 11 packs and 2 promos in here. Hopefully, I have seen errors in the past where they haven't put enough packs in or stuff has been missing. So, yeah, hopefully that's not the case today. Got the player's guide, which if I move that out, you can see that. I'm not going to go through that. I know that there's a lot of early videos out already, so I'm just not going to because I know that they've worked. That's already been done. I've got the usual markers and stuff. Got your dice with your cool multicolored die there. We'll take it separated, this might be this easier. So, Paldea Evolved, I'm not kind of going into buying it as much as uh, Scarlet Violet Base just because there's less that I'd like out of the set, so I don't see the point in buying loads of it. Here's the sleeves. I don't know if the Pokemon Center sleeves are different to the normal ETB sleeves. There you go, there's the code. Way. Okay, so there's two promos uh, with this. So you've got the Pokemon Center stamped one and the normal one. So there is the normal one. I'll open this later. Looks pretty good, Century wise Actually, in the corners look pretty good on it too. And then there is the Pokemon Center one, which you can see has the Pokemon Center label there. So I'm not going to open them right now just because I don't want to. And then pack of energy as you get in everyone. So as I said, there should be 11 packs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Great. So from what I've seen, the Paldea Evolved pull rates are pretty good. I mean, um, some people have said that they're harder to pull some of the better cards in than uh, Scarlet and Violet Base. I don't know. If I'm completely honest, I uh, I thought they looked pretty similar. If I'm honest, so we will see. So no Patrick, now we're with Scarlet and Violet, so we've got the Phalanx, Combi, Jigglypuff, Girafferig, Therapeutic Energy, Choice Belt, Formo, Noibat, Dino, and wow, full art, <laughs> Fortress EX Terrestrialized in the first pack. Can't argue with that, that's pretty uh, pretty decent to start off with. So yeah, I'm, I'm not fussed on the Iono or anything like that, to be completely honest, the cards that I'm really looking for in this are the Sprigatito illustration rare line. Um, I'm, I'm drawing a blank now. <laughs> I wouldn't mind the Chien Pao Altar SAR. I also quite like the Grusha um, SAR, that's pretty good. Speaking of Iona. Oh, I think we've got something in this pack actually. Uh, oh wow! <laughs> Literally spoke it into existence there, the Grusha SAR. So that's the SAR I actually wanted from the set, just because I really like the artwork. I like Starly. I just like all of that kind of thing. So yeah, fair play. These pull rates are good so far. So if I get nothing out of the rest of this box, I don't think I will complain. Because <laughs> I don't think the illustration rays that I'm actually looking for will be that much. Wouldn't mind the Tarantar. I think that looks pretty cool, very Godzilla-esque. Um, as well as the Raichu, I think, is in here. Uh, yeah, so we've got Qfront, Krogan, Choice Belt, Formo, Tinkerter, Dunsparce. Oh, wow, <laughs> this is brilliant. <laughs> the Floragato, so there's one of them. And then the Boss's Orders Hollow, which I think has a very cool full art, actually, I've seen that. And it has an SAR, so yeah. But yeah, so in terms of an update from me, I have got Cardiff Card Show next week, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, so I'll be picking up some stuff in there. I've got plenty that I'm on the hunt for um, still this year. I have been looking at potential buying of a Crystal Charizard, graded Crystal Charizard, uh, in recent weeks, but I'm not quite at the stage where I'm ready to pick that up yet. So there's the Grusha Reverse, the Jigglypuff, and then Gauros, which is actually a cool hollow. I'm going to chuck that in my Scarlet and Violet binder. I can't believe I got that Grusha. <laughs> but yeah, so um, Crystal Charizard I've been looking at. Um, I'd also like to get the M uh, Espeon 
Altart for the kind of set with the Umbreon, uh, as well as many others. <laughs> The uh, collection is going to be growing almost permanently at this point because there's just so much I want to add to it. So there's the Bax Calibre, which has quite a cool illustration ray from what I've seen. And then there's the Obama Snow. So three pulls so far out of some packs. I haven't really been counting how many packs I've opened. But I can't complain about this at all. I mean, I never thought the Pikachu would actually come to the English set for some strange reason. I know that they do release them, but for some reason I thought this one would never would. So I've actually got the Japanese one as well, which I'm happy with because it's a really cool card. So I'll probably get the Japanese one and the Pokemon Center one graded. And then the normal promo can just go in my binder with the others. So we've got Shrudel, Frigibrax, and the Chiyu EX. Nice, cannot complain there at all. This. Pull rates are doing very, very well, I must say. <laughs> um, yeah, I I can't complain about this set at all so far. It's just that there's not much in this set that I'd like to pick up, so that's why I'm not going in on it. Obsidian Flames, on the other hand, I will be going in heavy. I'm looking to get a case of that, because um, I want to get everything. <laughs> Pretty much everything. It's got Rare Law, Sudowoodoo, Grusha, Primate, uh, I'm not going to dwell on that mouse hold <laughs> and then Glimora and there's your code yeah I wasn't going to dwell on that name at all I know it's a uh, giraffe eggs evolution but beyond that I'm not going to try <laughs> yeah so I started a couple little side projects off as well I will talk about them a little bit more when I'm close to completing them because I don't see the point in giving a teaser, oh that's a cool Pikachu, um, check that to the side actually, um, until I'm close to completing them, otherwise it might be like six months to a year and you would just, if you do watch by then anyway, you'll just be thinking, what ever happened to that? Makuhita, for me, and then Luxray, that's a cool artwork, and that's going in my Scarlet and Violet binder as well. So you're probably wondering like, why do I just chuck random hollows and stuff like that in my binder? The stuff that I chuck in my binder is stuff that I like, so I did exactly the same with Brilliant Stars, Silver Tempest, Lost Origin, and a little bit of Astral Radiance as well. That all went into one binder. If you want me to show that as a short or something, please let me know. Uh, Tinker Tink, Pinkurchin, Makuhita, Miss Magius, which actually has a cool illustration here. I've seen that pulled a couple of times. Ramblegast, Dr. Croak, Talonflame. Aldean Taurus and a Vel Vel Veluza. Why did I struggle with that? Right, so we're down to our last two packs. We've got a Mouse Giarda and Chien Chien Pao, I think it is. Wouldn't mind the SAR of that. That's, that's a cool card, I must say. Um, I can't imagine... I didn't imagine really getting one out of this box. Never mind two, so I'm not going to ask for another one. So we've got Krogunk, Rookidy, Magnemite, Spidops... Uh, Persimian, Reversal Energy, Slowpoke, Kilowattrel, and Hariyama. So we're down to the last pack, and it's a Meow Scarada pack. Sprigatito was my starter from uh, Scarlet, so I wouldn't mind getting the Meow Scarada SAR, just because it will go with the set, and I've already got the Florigato, which I've seen pulled a lot. Like, the pull rate on the Florigato is pretty high. I wouldn't mind, I think, another illustration rare. That would be pretty good. But we will see. So we've got Slowpoke, Lithio, Rockruff, Crocolore, Helipa, Flachinda, Punchcrow, Mabostiff, and Jumpluff to end that off. But fair play, I cannot complain with that at all. It's brilliant. I can't believe I actually spoke that card into existence. It was really a surprising moment. Really good pulls, only four major pulls from that ETB, but to be fair, one of them was an SAR, so I really can't complain. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I have got more stuff planned and in development now as well, because uh, stuff is starting to get a little bit better on the outside, so I'm really looking forward to all of that. Please do consider liking and subscribing. It really does uh, help me out a lot. And yeah, I will see you in the next video.